All right, welcome everybody to tonight's stream of FTL. I was planning to have been playing Cave Story right now, but due to reasons beyond my control that are hard to explain, uh, yeah, I'm postponing Cave Story until further notice. I'm hoping to start it by tomorrow, maybe Thursday, but we'll have to see. In the meantime, I'm playing FTL. I needed to stimulate my brain with something that actually takes effort to figure out on occasion. So, yeah. I'm playing FTL tonight. I'm just trying to figure out what ship I want to do. Did a few of the more challenging ships last time I played, if I recall. But I don't remember if I did this one yet. Let's see. Stats. Best score I ever got was the B type basilisk. Or should I do a run with a starter ship? Which is this one. Hmm. I thought I had someone in chat to talk to me, but now they're not there. Uh, let's see. Oh, this one's got a lot of vents. I don't remember if I've ever used this one. Advanced flak. Comes with a cloning device, teleporter, and mind control. Let's try this one. All right, the data you carry is vital to the remaining Federation fleet. You'll need supplies for the journey, so make sure to explore each sector before moving on to the next. But get to the exit before the pursuing rebel fleet can catch up. 
Weapon order. Rearrange a weapon or drone schematic by dragging it into the desired position. The leftmost slot will be the last to power down if the system is damaged. That's a good point to remember. Alright, let's see. 30 scrap. Such weird coloration for this ship. go over here first. Pardon me if I seem out of it, folks. I got hit by, like, a wave of depression or something yesterday, which is part of why I didn't stream, and part of why I'm streaming something different today. But, uh, I'm still kind of recovering from it. You detect a rebel scout on an attack approach to a small refueling outpost. Their weapons are charged, but they're not firing yet. Intervene! I don't know who you are, but no one defies the rebel fleet. I do. Wow, really? Already? Alright then. Hey there, Amen. Glad you made it back. I just realized this ship doesn't come with a camera system. And without the camera system, I can't use mind control. I didn't realize auto fire was off. Come on, man. The pompous bastards expected free service just because they defeated the Federation. Take this for the help. The irony is that they haven't defeated us yet. I don't need that extra power, but it'll help to fit, help boost the longevity of it. Shut down your engines. Your crew manages to keep them barely operational. There we go. There we go. Alright, now let's repair this. Oh, there's fires. Well, shoot. Ah, but I can't do anything about that until I repair the doors. Good thing I have a cloning device. That's cool, I can hear the fire.
I love the warbly bloop bloops that you hear when these guys are repairing something. It's almost musical, in a weird way. Let's upgrade the doors, too. Just so that doesn't become a problem again. Mantis! They don't have a teleporter, though. But they do have missiles. Ooh, that was a beautiful shot! Getting really tired of needing to do room repairs. More. Keep that mach that rocket launcher off. Gotta be a store around here somewhere. Scout the sector. Got it. I needed that. Jumping straight home to take this extra weapon, we won't need it, hopefully. I need more scrap, though. Gosh dang it. No vision. I gotta be able to get cameras from somewhere.
I will not pay your toll. Ah, oh, shoot. Take everything we have, just don't kill us. No. Oof. That is very close. I'll sell the drone parts. I don't need drones at the moment. Wow, it'll be a while before I manage to get a good scrap farming process going. Oh, gosh, dang it. You take a hopeful trip to the clone bay, and to your relief, a clone is already prepared for the lost crew member. Well, that's good, at least. I forgot that was a thing that could happen. I never encounter that mission when I have one. What a waste of time, though. Time and valuable fuel. Well, I can do this. Oh my gosh, come on. I, I, I got I got it I gotta get something. There we go. A loud thud resounds through the ship after jump completion. You've just shunted a rock fighter and he's already preparing to fire. There we go. Easy peasy. That's more like it. Can we get more? Before we hit that store. Oof. Oof. That's not good. If I can take out their shield, though, this can help me a lot more than... It'll help them. Oh, dang it, my laser... Oh, heck yeah! Can I get a little more? The rock captain rubs the green moss-like appendage on his chin and then orders his crew to open fire. Why does he have a green moss-like arm? He's a rock man. Beautiful. You two fix this. Mm. 
The Rock tolerate few aliens in their space, but even they seem to respect the wisdom of the Zoltan. A few of them have established a trading post in the husk of an abandoned st capital ship. Hold on a second, my ear's itching. There we go. Drone control! I just got rid of a bunch of my drones. We're hacking. Without cameras, I'm hesitant to get crewmen. I guess crewmen would be a little more essential in that sense, but... You get to go up here. And then you get to go in here. That might be an awful crew arrangement. I don't know. Aid the civilian ship. They're busting down the teleporter. Well, they're not going to get far doing that. See, I think I mentioned the last time I played this that having a shotgun weapon, one of the flat guns, is really powerful. Apparently the ship that was being assaulted was a science vessel. They thank you for saving them and offer a small reward. I don't remember that being a thing. Cool, though. Sir, if you could please drown and get off my ship already. Much better. You intercept chatter from an approaching rock ship. Weapons moving in to engage, arm the tubes. There is no talking to these guys. Uh-oh, they've got a flat cannon, too. It's a good thing we've got two shields. I can't let you keep using that. Uh-oh.
Oof, I wish I could take that. I could take this one, though. Hey there, Templar! You still have streams set as papers, please? Shoot, you're right! I completely forgot all about that. Give me a moment to fix that. Anyone watching this on YouTube later, if I even upload this video, I think I will. I, I have to apologize. I'm really out of it today. I just, I don't know. I got hit by like a massive wave of depression yesterday, and I'm still kind of recovering from that a little bit. So I accidentally left the video on pause for like the last 10 to 15 minutes. So yeah, we cut ahead a little bit. If you want to see the full uncut version of the stream, you can go watch it on Twitch. Though, ironically... Well, I guess I could just download the Twitch version and put that on YouTube instead of worrying about the recording. I might have to do that. You like to leave the two NG ships to their business. After questioning your NG crew member, however, you do manage to salvage what scrap parts you can from the perimeter, even though you feel slightly dirty for doing so. Wonder if you guys can catch on to what analogy was going on there. Also, yes, Templar, I am okay. Thank you for asking. You arrive at a smoldering NG research station. It's distress, distress call unanswered. Attacked by pirates or mantis, most likely. There may be someone left alive, or else something of value left on board. Board the station! Your away team reports a wounded NG and a functioning drone schematic. Then someone yells. The station reactor's overloading and they're running out of time. Save the NG! Your crew returns safely to the airlock with the injured NG, and you put some distance on the station before it blows. The NG, impressed by your crew, volunteers to join you. Johnson! And we got 22 scrap, too. Hmm. I'm not really sure what to do with you, NG friend. Wait, really? Dude's gained no shield skill from being over there the whole time? Well... Let's see. I'll put you over there. I guess you can go over there, and you can go in there. Just making sure my crew survives this trek. There we go. Well, this room could use it a little more... Oxygenizing. Okay, I think it's good now. Oh wait, we're next to a store. I'll wait on that. An NG ship hails! Engine upgrade necessary for travel home. Sale of equipment necessary for... Sensors! Yes! Give me you! And now I will upgrade those in my pilot. No? Yeah. Pop that there. 
sick. So now you can see the whole dang ship. And this guy also has a job now. To further... having s With these systems, having someone in them uh, gives them a bit of a boost. And having Maloney in the sensors... Level 3, see enemy weapon charge! So now I can make full use of the mind control. Among other things. Now, of course, you want to milk each zone as much as you possibly can. Debris from a battle is scattered around this system. A few pieces bounce against your ship. You passively scan them and discover there's a functioning weapon among them. All right. I think I can make that just barely. That's a common trope with me, making it just barely. Even though each individual NG is made up of trillions of nanomachines, their culture still revolves around traditional social interactions. Except for the union of ships, apparently. A nearby station seems to be constructed for entertainment of passing NG travelers. So, no point going there, then. You've arrived at the beacon. You see a civilian space station with heavy damage. You receive a message. We've been hit hard by the war. We need more drone parts to speed up our repairs. We'll buy some from you if you have extra. Heck yeah. Take it, man. Next, I need to focus on reinforcing these. You've arrived in NG space. The Mantis have been threatening the NG core worlds, but you should be able to stock up for your journey. We got a store right there. An NG ship in the vicinity, seeing you jump in arm to the teeth, immediately broadcasts a surrender. Subject goal, wealth. NG motivation, survival. Transfer of goods, acceptable. I'm going to explain that I'm friendly. The NG seem relieved and eager to get underway. They set off without saying goodbye. I sacrificed parts there, but... I think we'll be good. You receive a distress call from a nearby NG ship. Assistance requested. Danger present. Imminent destruction. You receive another message from the ship. This time with a mantis at the comm log. Foolish meat sacks, he yells. Sensors indicate the ship is moving in to attack and borders teleport from the station. Interesting. Mantis on an NG ship. You don't see that much. That ship looks so clean and nice, too. Speaking of space, I just heard earlier that uh, Destiny is do gonna do a crossover soon with Mass Effect. Or a collaboration event, I mean, not necessarily a crossover. We're gonna get Mass Effect skins in Destiny, is what I'm saying. I have to wonder if De Mass Effect will get anything from Destiny. Okay. They've got quite the defenses going on. Let's do the mind control on the captain. Ah, oh, they're in trouble now. They killed their captain, and now they're dealing with two separate fires in two different damaged rooms, and their weapons have been damaged, too. I'll turn off the bombs so I'm not wasting these. I forgot I don't have many of those.
Dang it. Heavy laser was just shy. Ah, that guy died to the fire. There we go. That's what you get for being a jerk. The ship explodes, leaving behind a substantial collection of useful scrap material. Heck yeah. Which store do you think I should attempt? Templar, top or bottom? I won't attempt it, Im attempt it immediately, but... I think it'd be safer to go for this one. Bottom? Yeah. Not necessarily more stars, because I can go to here and then here for this one. But, these are much closer to the enemy, so if I've miscalculated how much time it will take to get over here, then I can either go early or go this way without ending up in the clutches of the enemy. Scans reveal a large asteroid field nearby. Short-range scanners may discover useful materials while we wait for the FTL. Explore. Remains of a ship embedded into an asteroid. It still has some functional missiles. Beautiful. And we can make it to that store and then get out. Yeah. We're good. I do need fuel. I'll take that. Forgot to keep an eye on my fuel. Wish I could afford cloaking. Cloaking is beautiful. But unfortunately, I can't sell mind control. A defense, too, is also beautiful. I don't have drone control, and I don't have enough for drone control. I can get rid of emergency respirators. I'll go ahead and buy this and go for drone control later. Because this thing is really handy. Actually, this might be just as handy. I'll actually go with the shield drone. This room needs oxygen. What's the... Oh, it was my weapons. Okay. A small platform orbits near this beacon. It looks like a fueling station of some sort. And it is cheerily broadcasting reasonable prices in a spectrum of frequencies and languages. The platform seems to be malfunctioning. Could it ignite, it ignite at any moment? Quickly refuel! You're able to safely refuel and get clear before the station explodes! Heck yeah! I've never actually succeeded at that before. There's another store. Are you kidding me?
You come across a Mantis Raider taking pot shots at a defenseless NG supply station. Discovering its weapons aren't much of a match for the station's armor, it turns on your ship. Battle stations. No problem. That laser can only fire once. This thing is the bigger danger. Because I have three shields. That laser's not getting through them. Not without taking down the shields first. But, I can do this. Oh, I wasn't supposed to attack that, but whatever. Dang it. Where'd he show up? Ah, the NG's being smart. He's attacking the mind control. Good luck, friend. You're dealing with two brawlers that can also sap your oxygen at the same time. And now, because I've taken out piloting, he can't dodge. Engine will do the same thing. The ship explodes. What was I thinking of? Right. I'm gonna save the crew positions before I forget to do it yet again. Find an abandoned mining station on a nearby moon. A quick scan shows no life forms. However, you discover a usable drone schematic. Not that I need a system repair drone. The beacon. This beacon seems to serve as a meeting place for local traffic. It seems you can find crew willing to fight on your ship here, for a price. I don't think I need more crew. I've already got six. You can have up to eight, I think. Maybe ten. Pretty sure the limit's eight. But I think I'm good for the moment. I'll just do that to reinforce those. I think I can make it, barely. We used our last FTL fuel to jump to the station. They indicate a burnt-out husk of debris and warped metal. As you can see, the war must have spread to this sector. We've been stranded ever since. Let's give them the fuel. Thank you. Have this extra scrap as payment. Thank you. Ooh, I'm not going to make it. It's still going to be close, but I don't think I'll make it. I might have to deal with the rebels. Oh, and I got to deal with this, too. This is not good. The beacon has been placed too close to a super giant Class M star. The ship will gradually overheat until you get out of here. Or die. A pirate, apparently oblivious to the danger of the sun, moves in to engage. Unleash the power of the sun. NG aren't great fighters, so let's mind control the person, the human. Not to imply that NG aren't people, they are.
They're powering up their FTL, but they can't do anything with the piloting out. You've clearly bested us. We merely request our lives. 53 scrap and 3 fuel and a system. That's a good deal, man. You don't usually see deals like that from this situation. Come on. Yeah, now we gotta deal with rebels. But we made it just before we caught fire. I found the exit beacon, but the rebels got here first! You must survive long enough to be able to jump to the next sector. Uno momento. Sorry, hold on. A friend sent me something. <laughs> Alright. Moving on. We must win or survive long enough for this thing to fill up. That thing's going to be mean. So let's mind control their captain first. Oh, dang it, I can't use the laser. This music always reminds me vaguely of Danny Phantom. Because of that, that electronic bass in the background. Cool, I took out the big laser. And I think their bomb missed. Dang it, it couldn't take out the whole shield. Come on. I did it. I'm just worried about survival. I'll worry about that later. Dang it. Almost there, come on. That did nothing to me. Beautiful. This is a rebel-controlled world, but not the same kind of rebel control. The rebel fleet is not here. Once the Federation forces were scattered, the rebels came down hard on the locals here. Between the task collectors and military bases, the rebel presence in this sector is high. Alright. You two get to fixin'. We'll go here and see what's at all these many different nodes. A rebel ship is controlling this beacon, and immediately turns to engage. As your crew scramble to battle readiness, sensors detect a short-range teleporter signal. An intruder is on board! Excuse me. A flushed and panicky rebel soldier has teleported aboard. The rebel, who appears unarmed, repeatedly declares his peaceful intentions. It seems the rebel life has lost its charm. Accept his proposal. Let's give him the benefit of the doubt, see if this works. Relieved and lightheaded, your new crew member gets to work as the rebel ship attacks. Oh, top rank shield guy. Is 
You get to hang out in here with the NG. I need to stop that rocket launcher from firing. Whoops, no, put it right in the middle. Please don't kill us, we'll give you everything. Nah. I love flat cannons so much, man. You find the source of the distress call, a small research station. It appears a small laboratory fire got out of control and is threatening to destroy the station. The fire suppression system is not responding. Well, we have a cloning machine, so we can afford to send the crew in. You send a crew into the station. Unfortunately, as soon as they enter, the fire breaches the station's fuel cell containment. You quickly try to dock and retrieve your, your crew, but not before an unfortunate soul is lost in the inferno. With a newfound respect for your for flames, your crew member's clone stumbles out of the clone bay. So the thing about cloning is if a character is cloned, they lose a little bit of their skill level. I don't know why Lana's skill level is so low. They're supposed to be building faster than that, I think. But... <coughs> oh well... Yeah, that's supposed to be, like, a problem. I think it's fantastic. A Federation encrypted signal is being broadcast from a nearby planet. Let's investigate. You find a secret Federation outpost, but it appears the Rebels have found it before you. The place is empty and faint bloodstains can be seen in the living quarters. You find the encrypted signal emitter and shut it off before leaving. Dang it. Give me stuff. You find a rebel automated scout floating near this beacon. Despite its pristine condition, condition it appears to be deactivated. Strip the ship or download its data stores. Let's attempt to download the data stores. You accidentally reactivate its AI. Its weapons immediately go online prepared for a fight. Oh well. Since it is an AI ship, there are no crewmen to mind control. So we have to rely entirely on just taking this thing down. Period. Its weapons are... Oh, it has a hacking device, though. I forgot the... Defender drone might be better than the shields in that regard. I don't... I don't think the shield thing can protect against hackers. Maybe it can. I don't know. Oh, they hacked the oxygen. That's fine for, the, for, for these guys, but the rest of the crew will have issues. So I need to take out their hacking. So that they can't... hack my oxygen. Nailed it.
There we go. Now I'll never miss. Heck yeah. Good haul. I can go here and then hit that shop. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Man, I want to help them, but if I help them here, then I'll be stuck, and I can't afford to be a sitting duck now. Oof. I'm going to be stuck with the Rebels anyway. I didn't realize I couldn't jump from here to there. I need all of this. I can afford cloaking. Yes, please. Oh, wait, we need a drone control. I don't need both of these. You've reached the system limit. Dang it, I thought I could replace something. Guess we're not using drones then. Which might be a might be really bad. Weird that we haven't encountered them selling any weaponry that I can actually use. But I'll take this. So I can get more scrap. And now Definitely need this for the cloaking device. What else? Let's buff the cloaking device a little bit. I can't afford anything else right now. Oh, I can go here. Okay, we're good, just barely. Oof. You're hailed by a rebel ship. Oh, the irony. When the rebellion is complete, you'll see the safer world we provide. Well, you won't, but you get the point. So the thing about cloaking is it temporarily gives me maximum dodge chance. Or a very, very, very high dodge chance. Beautiful! Now let's take out that so they can't dodge. Stop them from repairing those shields. They offer you their cargo if you let them live. No! As long as they don't fix their piloting, they're sitting ducks. Beautiful. I didn't even realize I took damage. When did that happen? Alright, ship upgrades. Better dodging. I need to upgrade my weapons one more time, just so those can't be easily taken out. You look like a military vessel. 
We're trying to get back to our homes alive. I'm an engineer by trade and could try to improve your reactor if you have any extra supplies. Ugh. That would leave me with three fuel. Which might be hard to work with. What say you, Templar? Templar? You there? Templar is not there. No, oh, wait, yeah, they are. What choice should I go for, Templar? I pointed at my screen, even though you can't see it. <laughs> Templar says, I have no idea what resources mean in this game, so I have no clue. Well, this is fuel. I've got five of it currently. This would mean losing two fuel. Two rockets and two drones I can afford to lose, because I'm not even using drones. I accidentally failed to get drones this time around. So drones are useless to me. Rockets are a little useful, because they're, I can, they're, they're ammo for the bombs. Specifically the bombs. Get fuel. Well, this would have me losing fuel. So are you suggesting I decline? Or agree to trade fuel to them for a reactor upgrade and then potentially get stuck looking for fuel later? Decline? Fair enough. Gotta go straight to the exit. Can't afford another jump past that. Pirate ship pursuing a civilian. Aid the civilians. Beautiful. And down they go. Apparently the ship that was being assaulted was a science vessel. I got even more stuff. Heck yeah. Mantis controlled. Because we need all the scrap we can get. You've entered a poorly charted area of space that's known to be home to the Mantis. Ensure your hull plating is up to scratch and that you have enough fuel in the tank to make it through. Let's go to this distress signal. Ship emitting the distress beacon messages you. Sorry to bother you, but we're out of fuel and can't get out of this barren sector. Could you help us out? Man, a lot of people really want fuel. But they have three shields. Probably best not to antagonize them. Thank you. Perhaps this payment our engineer could try to optimize your ship's reactor output. 
All right. And there's stores, beautiful. One fuel again, that's the second time this has happened. I'm genuinely mad that there's no Flak 2 here. Flak 2s are really strong. Oh, well, a pair of bomb is useless. Heavy ion is virtually useless. Hull beam might be good. You find the source of the distress call, a small research station. It appears a small laboratory fire got out of control and is threatening to destroy the station. Their fire suppression system is not responding. Put out the fire! Johnson is gone, except he's not. Yeah. You spot a small rebel ship nearby. It seems to have been refitted for transport rather than combat. It does not seem to want to engage you and your ship. Well, I'd like to play it nice and not antagonize innocence, but, uh... What do you think, Templar? Should I demand their goods or avoid combat? Demand? All right. You prepare to secure their cargo by force. They've got three shields. They're trying to escape. Oh dear. Well, with their captain out of commission, they aren't going anywhere. Imp is raiding with a party of three! Hey, Imp and friends! Happy to see ya. You caught me in the middle of a combat, a combat scenario. Need to take out that sh at least one layer of shielding first, or the flak will be virtually useless. Because there's always a chance of one shot of flak missing. Oh dear. They've got a boarding drone. Those can't simply be suffocated. Let's slow it down for a second. Hmm. Oh, right, right for him. Brilliant. Alright, you two, get in there. You get out of there. Alright, next. Flack, over there. And now... Ooh, that can go pretty far. All, across all five rooms. Ah, uh, good night, Templar. Beautiful. That was a beautiful laser shot. I think I even took out the drone. All right, bomb can stop.
I didn't even realize they had that defender on there. Okay, whole beam can't be on auto fire. That is a bad idea in general. You need to stop. There they go. That was awesome. Only come across blueprints and debris from broken machinery. A shame, but you take what scrap you can salvage. Who all is in here? I saw Imp was raiding. I see Shadow and Terry. Who's the last person that raided with you guys? I got a lot of names on here I don't recognize. Bunch of bots. I gotta figure out how to lose the bots. Hey, Imp! Nice to see ya. That list is inconsistent and unreliable. You just finished? Well, welcome to join. <laughs> Come dock before the warriors see you. Oh, it's a mantis! Identifying a mantis trading post ahead, you signal them so that your approach won't be taken as a threat. The leader hails you. You have scrap? Quickly, come dock before the warriors see you. I don't think I've ever seen that interaction before. Which is interesting, because I have played a lot of this game. Oh, gosh. Dang it. Well, this might be better than the hull laser, but it also requires two charge. I mean, not the hull laser, the heavy laser. I don't have enough for it. Heavy laser sells for 25. That would be just enough to get that. Normal damage 2, shots per charge 1. 16 seconds, 9 seconds. Hmm. I also might need fuel. Let's go for it. Yeah. Also, the emergency respirators as well. And use that to buy fuel. Perfect. Is there anyone in chat right now who doesn't know this game? And shoot is on board. Easy peasy. I forgot to put my crew back in their positions. Gosh dang it. Oh well. These mantis won't last long. Suckers. Let's restore oxygen around the ship. Okay. And now, return crew to their positions. Oh, shoot. You need oxygen, though, dude. Oof. I have a cloning device, so it would have been fine if he died, but that was a bit awkward. Uh... I'll keep Johnson there for now. Alright. Okay, moving on.
Children on Earth are told terrible tales of the Blood Red Mantis invasion ships. Much like the one bearing down on you now, which once threatened the planet. You order weapons free. Hmm. They have an interesting weapon layout. The main concern is their triple shielding. I really need a Flak 2. I need a Flak 2 so bad, man. Flak 2s are so powerful. Interesting that the, this Mantis invasion ship, which doesn't have a teleporter on it, Imp says, I only kind of know this game. I have friends who have played this game. Is there anything you don't understand about what I'm doing? Oh, you gotta work tomorrow, so you're going? I gotta work tomorrow, too. I technically should be going. But my parents are at a movie, and my dog's gonna wake me up if I go to bed now anyway. M says, I understand this game reasonably well. I've just never played this before myself. I highly recommend it. This game is way more fun to play than it is to watch. Like, holy cow. This is really fun to play. It's really it's really mentally engaging. Uh, let's do the Mantis and the Shields. It looks fun. It is fun. I watched someone play it once, and I was like, eh, I don't know if this is for me. But a friend of mine nagged me to play it. So I finally played it, and I'm freaking having a blast. I've loved this game ever since I got it. This game is fantastic, man. You just got gifted a game. What game was that? While they are all in there, let's blow them all up. Henry Stickman collection? Ooh, heck yes. Please tell me you haven't seen gameplay of that yet. You've played a couple of them? Is that what... Were you playing that tonight? It's super funny. And you know, oh, the Henry Stickman games are great, man. Wait, that's the whole beam. Gosh dang it. I forgot that's the whole beam, not the chain. Well, if you ever stream Henry Stickman, let me know. I'd love to watch that. Come on. Gosh dang it. No, I need those shields down. Oh my gosh, come on, Flack. There we go. That's more like it. And now they go down. Beautiful. You find a number of ships fleeing from a small space station. You hail them, asking what's wrong. Help, we're being overrun by some sort of giant alien spiders! Giant alien spiders are no joke! Your crew boards the station, cautiously moving between corridors, blah, blah, blah. Philippe is gone. Except Philippe is fine. His weapon stat was just a little bit damaged.
A rebel captain appears on the screen. I thought we had been doomed to backwater assignments. This is my chance to get back in command's good graces. Charge the weapons. It's also your chance to just straight up die. Ion Pulse? Oh, I didn't even notice we were in the range of an Ion... Uh, of a Pulsar. I don't know if that will help me against the Pulsar. Oh, sweet. The Pulsar took out their shields. That is beautiful. Took out my shields too, shoot. Offer to give you some of their goods if you don't destroy their ship. It's a little late for that now. Come on, fires, go away. There we go. Let's get out of here. That was close. Your ship would make a mighty fine prize. Prepare for battle. Other than my shielding, I was prepared for battle before I got here. <laughs> oh, I teleported anyway! <laughs> Too bad he's gonna die. I said get in there. No, this is the kind of case I need to be using that. Weapons now. And that bomb missed. Perfect. They're going to fight each other while they suffocate. No, you don't. Oh, that's the one I... Okay. 
I did not know he'd be able to go through my doorways if I'm mind controlling like that. That's goofy. He teleported back. Okay. Weird that he didn't go to my teleporter and then go to their ship. But whatever. Okay, I think I'm good. Beautiful. Time to absolutely wreck house. Wait a minute. There we go. You pick up more chatter from the enemy ship. You know what? Forget this. Prepare for retreat. No. Enemy FT FTL delayed. Now it's severely delayed. You're not making it out of here. Let's let the air circulate for a little bit, just so my crewmen aren't dying if I have to shift them around. You still there, Shadow? You're pretty quiet. And who's this Robbie person. I don't know how to say your name without potentially being marked as swearing or something, so. Yeah. You've arrived at the long range beacon. Well, it might have been nice to have a rock man, but I'm good and don't have the money anyway. We're getting close to the end. I don't think we're very well equipped for the final boss, unfortunately. You'd be surprised how hard it is to prepare for the final boss compared to the entire rest of the game. You arrived just in time to see an unusually well-armed NG ship destroying a small pirate air a small pirate craft. Teleporter signals detected intruder on deck. A young mantis in a charred uniform is teleported onto the deck. He begs for a sanctuary from the NG and offers to serve in exchange for your protection. The NG have already traced the teleporter signal and are offering a deal in exchange for the prisoner. All right. Is there anyone in chat willing to pick one for me?
Hmm. Pardon my silence, anyone watching this after the fact. I'm doing stuff on the side. I know I'm a little distracted this run. Seems my viewership is oddly distracted for a viewership. <laughs> Just like me, I suppose. Oddly distracted for a streamer. But that happens from time to time. friend of mine responded mantis friend he expresses his thanks and prepares to help you fight his pursuer sorry Angie's I know you mean oh no two defense drones and a glaive beam I am in trouble okay I'll take the power from the teleporter because I'm not using it That glaive beam could be real trouble. That's the most powerful beam in the game if it can hit. And I don't know if it can get through three shields or not. Maybe it can't. Maybe it can only get deal one damage. I make it through five rooms. No. Too far. This'll do. Visibility to stall the glaive beam. I did it. Awesome. Ship explodes, leaving behind a substantial collection of useful scrap material. Thank you. Sub-element, welcome to the chat. They said very well played. Thank you very much. I really do appreciate that. 
What brings you here, sub-element? I don't think I know you. Shadow said Mantis friend worth the trouble probably. Maybe. An energy ship in the vicinity, seeing you jump in armed to the teeth, immediately broadcasts a surrender. Subject goal wealth, NG modification, uh, NG motivation, modification, <laughs> survival, transfer of goods acceptable. Sub element said, I'm on lunch. Lunchtime Twitch FTL is my thing. Nice. I play Twitch once in a blue moon. I usually play other things. I mean, I play FTL. Sorry, I'm really out of it today, man. I promise I'm usually a lot... I, I make a lot more sense normally, and I'm a lot more of a proper entertainer, but I'm really out of it today. Um, but yeah, Sub-Element said All Mantis is friend. What I was saying is... I play FTL now and then. I usually play it in between other planned streams. I Like, I was planning to be playing Cave Story tonight, but I just wasn't feeling up to it. I'll probably do that tomorrow if I if I can work it up. Work up the, the spirit for it. Also, Shadow said Mantis Friend worth the trouble, probably, if I didn't say that already. Uh, Alright, new question for y'all. Should I explain that I'm friendly, in which case they'll probably leave, or accept their offer of surrender and take the supplies? Excuse me. Sub-element says, I feel you, my brain no work good either. Just had a fire alarm go off at work and had to evacuate for a bit. I mean, that's exciting and interesting. My case is that I had a spontaneous and rather powerful bout of... I don't know how to... It was like depression, but I... <laughs> I would say it was more like sheer spiritual disturbance that I felt yesterday. I don't know what was wrong with me, man, but I'm still recovering from it. Sub said it's 42 Celsius outside, so not fun. That's 107 in freedom units. Yeah, that isn't fun. Where you at, sub element? Also, which option should I go with? West Australia. I've got an Australian friend visiting this week, actually. Well, visiting my area. I don't know if we'll be able to meet up, but we're trying to make that work. I'm a little nervous. I've never met one of my online friends before. Explain your friendly, says Sub. Alright. Oh! Brilliant! The NG are satisfied with your explanation. Beneficial. Subject goal. Long, long journey. It remains compatible with transfer of goods from NG. They send over the gear willingly, and you feel better for it. Oh yeah, definitely. I got one fuel, which it turns out I need fuel, and 74 scrap. Which I already had 74, so that's a perfect doubling of the scrap I already had. Sub says, you're welcome, being friends is always good. Yes, I do agree, though in this game I have encountered many situations where I simply couldn't afford to be friendly. Scrap a cover your arm, mine the asteroids! 87 scrap! Holy freaking cow! Please, Flak, Flak 2, Flak 2, Flak 2. Yes, Flak 2! This requires three. What should I get rid of, Sub? I'm sure there's one of these I don't need. Probably the advanced flak. But 7 plus 3? Oh boy. It 
It does take a lot of power for Flak 2, yes. They got a Flak 1. I could get three Flak Cannons, man. Oh man, three flat cannons would be wild. How much power is flak one? I want to say it's two. It is two. With charge time, 10 seconds where the advanced flak is one power and has an eight second charge time. Flak two has a 21 second charge time though, but it fires seven shots, which no shields can defend against very well. Flak 1 is 3 shots, yes. Same for the Advanced Flak. Advanced Flak is Flak 1 with, a, with, with like an extra... The extra perk of 1 lower power. Let's do the math. Well, let's see. That's 13 shots. If I were to charge all of them if, and fire them at the same time. But I would only have enough power for all 3 of them at one time. Is 3 power but 10 second charge for 6 shots way better than Flak 2? That's a good question. I just bought the Flak 2. The main disadvantage of, of splitting it into two weapons is that if one of those weapons goes down, that could screw me. Yeah, but with Flak 2, if you, you lose tons of power, you can't run at all. Yeah. And I... Hmm. Here's the wildness that I'm thinking, alright? What if I get the Flak 1 get rid of the two lasers, and then just do three flax and the bomb. Three flax is a war crime? Oh, that's the best frickin' kind of crime, though. That sounds bad. That sounds really bad. <laughs> I want to try it, though. I don't think I've ever tried it before. Oh, I really want to try that. You know what? Let's do it. I don't think I'm winning anyway, but if I do, this is going to be fun. Should I get rid of the whole beam or the chain laser? Both take two power. I guess I need to get rid of both. Do I need to get rid of both? Because I can also put more power into weapons. And keep all three flax and the bomb. Keep the beam, but with three flak shields shouldn't exist. Keep the beam, get rid of the laser. You don't need to get rid of anything, reason really, unless you think you're scrap. True. And let's see. I'll put the bomb as an emergency tool. 
of sorts. What do you think of this arrangement? Should I keep it this way or move the bomb further up? This is good. All right. Ooh, that takes a full 90. Oh, I forgot. I, I probably needed to heal up. So I think I am going to sell one of these. Uh, let's get rid of the laser. That was perfect. This is going to be wild, man. You arrive at a smoldering NG research station. It's distressed call unanswered. Attacked by pirates or mantis, most likely. There may be someone left alive or something of value left on board. Some elements said enjoy your crimes. You going back to work? Well, I have no use for drones, so I guess I'll save the NG. Sorry, Maloney. Nice to have you. All right, NG friend, get over there. And now we can get that last power we needed. I must decline. I'm low on fuel. Here we go. I will not accept the bribe. Locks weapons onto your ship. Ah, glaive beam again. That's two glaives in a row, I think. That's a little wild. Oh, here we go. Kill the Zoltan. Wait a minute. Better idea. Dang it! <laughs> oh, that didn't do much, but that's just the layout of the ship causing problems. Oh, they can't. No, they can. Never mind. They fixed that real fast. Healing burst. That's a good haul. At least scrap wise. What do you think, sub? I kind of don't want to leave them to attack their target, but. That's not a bad offer. Because I can sell that healing burst for even more scrap. That's pretty good. Yeah, alright. You arrive at a green planet with great plains and rolling waterfalls. It would be of little interest to the NG nearby. Why do I care what the planet looks like? I'm running out of fuel. Come on, Rebels, give me fuel. Well, 
Well, then I will halt them. All of that missed? Are you kidding me? Come on, friends, take out that drone. Everything. Well, not quite, but close enough. Wow. No. You two move in here. You... No, not you. You, get over here. You should be fixing that. I'm a dunce. There we go. I'm in mild trouble now. But I'm otherwise good. Okay, you get back here. Start repairing this. Get in there. You get back in here. That's actually a good combo to have. He's, you got an extra Mantis, put him with an NG who can't defend himself well. Mantis is an NG could, could theoretically be best friends. Or, or best comrades. Maybe not best friends, but as far as... Or, as far as, like, fellow soldiers. Oh boy. I love the bloopity bloops that these guys make when they're repairing things. Oops, no, you go in there. Let's uh, equalize the oxygen a bit. Then again, no, yeah, yeah let's do that. Yes. You arrive at an outpost close to the Federation base. Your access codes get you past initial security, and an officer sets up a direct feed to the Federation base's war room. Admiral Tully speaks first, saying, What is the meaning of this? Who are you? Your explanation is met with murmurs of cynicism and disbelief among the officers. General Terzel of the NG Brigade speaks up. Intel suggests potential counter to rebel technology. Risk all or save none. Explain the weakness of the enemy fleet, the rebel flagship. Tully responds, it's settled. The rebels will be here in a matter of moments. We will do what we can to hold off their warships, but you must succeed in destroying this flagship. 
Your current outpost can provide some repairs and fuel, and the other repair stations could provide aid as well. Good luck. Here we go. Final stretch. You. Switch places. Specifically because Shelly's sh shielding skill is maxed. There doesn't seem to be a store at the next one. Let's see. Let's do that. Give that a little bit of shielding. And same for that. Probably should have just gone for four shields, but... I don't know. I'm a little more worried about losing my ability to use stuff. Adding an extra layer, even if you're not putting... Uh, even if you're not putting power into it, it also it increases its defense. So now they have to get through this bar before they can actually start taking out my weaponry. Come across a pirate in hot pursuit. Stay out of this fight, we'll make it worth your while. What do you think, Sub-Element? You still there? My family's home. It is 11.39. I need, I need to be going, but this is the final stretch, so... I'm gonna say we're good. Sub-element, what do you think? How was it? Really? Maybe vaguely. Anyway, I guess it probably was being brought in to the other. And that's what this was based on? This was, was the movie of the Broadway musical. <laughs> so it was Mean Girls reinvented as a musical. Hmm. Alright. So it was interesting, kind of, it was funny, it was weird. Well, normally I wouldn't accept... No, no one's answering. Normally I wouldn't accept the bribe. But I think that scrap could come in handy. And I need to save as much of my hull as I can for this final fight. Ooh. Scale the destruction in the distance is almost breathtaking. Unfortunately, your position as an independent observer doesn't last for long. Alright. 
to see. I need to stop them from firing on me. They took out my shielding, but I took out their flat cannon, so I'm good. Take out all three at once. Woo! That is fun. Just stinged at me. Can I make every shot hit? Woo! Oh, that feels good. More intruders, but this time they spawned in the worst place possible. Good job, boys. Let's see if we can take them out with just one volley of the lower flax. Yes. Ooh, and I think with that I can... No, maybe not. We'll just have to wait for a minute and see. Oh, if I need 180 to upgrade those. Trying to figure out how to say your name. Uh, Yitka Kra? Welcome to the chat. Nice to have you here. Glad you're watching. Glad you're engaging. They said, Hi, why did you use boarding? I think is what they're trying to say. If you mean the teleporter, I don't. The ship came with that, but I don't really like using teleporter. Um, strategies most of the time I might against the final boss just to take out their main guns but yeah we'll have to see darn not enough scrap to upgrade my shields to where I want them you prepare to face the flagship All right, doorman. I am going to send you in. Oh, I have to wait. I don't want to go over there while he's on top of that spot or he'll have support. But I'm waiting at the base for him. This is it, the rebel flagship. If you are able to destroy this monstrosity, the Federation fleet will have a chance of surviving. There's no turning back. I think that's gonna hit this. I hope that's what it hits, because even if that was part of my strategy, it won't completely knock me out. 
Yes. Oh, wait, I forgot to put power into it. And I can't take power out of this. Gosh dang it. Uh... I'll take one power out of my engine. Send you in there. The missiles are my main worry. Oh, and they've got mind control. I didn't remember them having mind control. Oh, well, that's what I've got a cloning device for. This is gonna be rough. That laser is about to fire. How much damage will that deal? I'm technically more worried about that, but it just fired, so. Oh, and there goes the missiles, and I don't have my... Oh, dear. Okay. This could hurt. We're good. I'm impressed it's taking him that long to sap the oxygen out of there. What in the world? All right. I'm impressed this dude's holding his own against a guy that can sap oxygen. What in the world, man? Okay, close these doors. Open this door. He's revived. What? How did he win that fight? Are you kidding me? Oh, gosh dang it. Oh, well. That's what I've got that there for. You get in there and start repairs. Flagship has better oxygen? Well, clearly. Okay, now I need to use this. Now he's dead. And the rockets are damaged. That was a beautiful volley. Ooh, and I started a fire in there. That's cool. Oof. Those aren't good. And it looks like those are still trying to charge. Could be wrong, but I'm not going to risk it. Now they're definitely off. And not getting repaired anytime soon. Let's see. Wait.
Oh, gorgeous. No, that's more like it. Oof. Gunner's good. Shield's good. Looks like pretty much everyone's good except Fairy. I must wait. Now comes a very tricky part. Chase, you chase down the flagship and discover it is heavily damaged from the previous fight. Scans indicate that it has redirected considerable power to its drones. Get ready for a fight. I am a little worried about that combat drone. Full volley. Right for the shields. I don't totally mind him attacking this right now. Let's send him in there to distract. Did I use this for some reason? I did! Oh, that was so dumb. was beautiful. Search detected, come on. Come on, get it. Yes. Drone stage is complete. Now for arguably the hardest part. Uh, I can't put anything there, though. 
Darn. Oh well, we now have more shield defenses. Is this going to be an unexpected success? Time to find out. You should probably finish fixing that before I keep going. <laughs> that was close. Okay, you get back there. Oh, excuse me. Is there anything else I can put this into? Just the teleporter. Alright, teleporter it is. Itka said, can advice? Sure. What you got? Itka said, you can use... Mind control on your guys. Yeah, that's true. It, to cancel enemy mind control, right? Right, I forgot about that. Thanks for the reminder. You're not certain how it's able to keep fighting with the amount of damage it has sustained. It looks like it's transferred power to the teleporter as well as some kind of super weapon. But prepared, this is it. They've got one guy to teleport, though. And thanks to your hint, I can do this. Where is it coming? Right there. Okay, all flax take out those shields. I must save this for the super weapon. Except for the fact that those missiles can ignore my shields. Eesh. He should be good to fix that, though. Oof, and the missiles came right after. Oh, and my bomb missed. Mind control is suffering, so I can't stop my friend here. All right, Johnson, get in there. All oh, those fires are not good. Hurry up, dude. I can't send him in there, he'll straight up die. This is a pickle. I should have let the missiles hit me. Oh well, he's in there now, so... Get in there and fix it. Gosh dang it, bombs, why you keep missing? That was a beautiful volley. Now 
I just gotta contain these fires. Let's see. I'm just double checking that everything's working properly. I'll close these and open this so this room can get some oxygen. You have energy. You're right, I do. But I don't have anything I necessarily need to put it in right now. Get in there! Dang it! This is such an awkward situation to be in, man. You, get over there and help fix that. Though I think it- yeah. I did it! I'm dying, but I did it. <laughs> Sweet! I think that's my first success on stream in this game. Thanks to the valiant effort of the Shrike and her successful crew. Fairy, Artyom, Philip, Lana, Johnston, Stelly, Stelly, Manon, and Mera. The Rebels' flagship was destroyed, throwing their fleet into chaos and ensuring a Federation victory. Sweet. And granted, that was easy mode, but this game is deceptively tough, as you can see. Oh man, though. Three flat guns, that felt good. That felt real good. Let's just enjoy these credits for a minute. I did not expect to win with that ship, but I did. Because flat cannons, baby. Thank you to all of our extremely generous Kickstarter backers, with a very special thank you to just these specific people. <laughs> Excuse me. B E M. Bill, not the actor, the chemist Murray. Brian Nolan Nolan. Cyberman is it D sharp? Iceman. It's my friend. Not really, but you know what I mean. I'm sure. David Easy Gamer Lopez. That guy is the reason this game has an easy mode. <laughs> Gas Magic? Heck yeah. What a fun name. H2? Obi Bob. Obi Bob Kabobi. Jay Hacks Barker, how much you want to bet that guy did the debug and a bunch of the programming? John, I'm not Filipino young? <laughs> what? And John Deadly Dosage, Dosa, what a cool name. Kill Glance, that's a cool name. Decoy Sanchez. I think I saw another one up there that said Moleculator or something. Answer Mancer. Kozistov Answer Mancer. Chupka? 
What a crazy name. LCM Batman. El Muerco. <laughs> Vern with two R's. Matt J. Pones. Radish Monster. Mesky with parentheses instead of quotes. Captain Cal! Fox Stab? Oh, but I love foxes. Ten Sid the Slayer, ten ants. Interesting. Pigeon? Nikos? Repeat? I like that. Coldstream, that's fun. Lenders. I like Coldstream, that's a good name. I wish I had thought of that. Ripper, Subwolf. You think if it makes a lot of noise, he becomes a subwoofer? <laughs> AGT Mad Cat. Skiff Deep. <sighs> Timothy the Unforgiven. I like that. The Unforgiven. That's a good name. The Cabman, Vic. By the way, let that be a lesson. Forgive as much as you possibly can. Trust me, life is much happier if you forgive as much as you possibly can. Of course, be reasonable about it. But don't refuse to forgive someone if it's within your capacity to. Congratulations, you've defeated the Rebel Flagship and assured the victory of the Federation. Score, 3375. Beautiful. Not among my top five, though. That's only the second time I've done that. And the f only, only, the fir only the second time I've tried that ship, and the first time I've succeeded with it. That's cool. <sighs> well, anyway, I really need to get going to bed. Thank you, everybody, for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, my Discord and my YouTube are in my Twitch bio. You can go to my Discord to chat with me and my other followers or to get updates on streams. You can go to my YouTube if you want to see previous streams in edited forms. Well, sometimes edited. Or if you want to see uh, non-stream clips that I have recorded and uploaded. Uh, I hope you all had fun watching. Uh, it was very nice to interact with some of you, and uh, I hope to see you again. Hopefully soon I'll be ready to do some cave story, but this was a lot of fun. I, Depending on how I'm feeling tomorrow, I might do another one of these. Have a good night, everybody.